Hey everyone, this is Mr. Dave, and uh, for this video I'm going to be showing you how you can actually enable uh, TLS uh, SSL on the video or web control um, stream. So first off, we'll actually head up to our guide to make sure that uh, we have that open in case we need it here. And this is actually in the configuration in the web control is actually where it's at because uh, what we need is actually to set up a certificate and a key and if you have your own website you'll have all of these but if you actually want to do a self-signed um, key you can actually uh, do it that way so we're going to need a couple of packages uh, installed here and then we're going to make our own self-signed key and start it up. So uh, we'll first need to make sure that this package is installed, the OpenSSL. And it is already installed, but I'll paste it in here to actually illustrate. Um, basically, it's the uh, SSL. And then I'll pause here. This is the uh, command that I was able to actually find uh, out there on the web uh, regarding how to actually create your own uh, self-certificates uh, and key files, which we will need. And we will set that up, we'll copy that in, and paste. And then it's going to ask you for a couple of questions. I'm just going to leave them as defaults. Here you can enter them in as you see fit. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to create these two files here. These are actually really important files, so you're not going to want to actually keep them in their default location um, here. But this is uh, just for illustrative purposes here. So within the mode, so what we need is to actually specify these within the um, motion uh, parameters file. And to do that, we will edit our motion file. And this is down in the uh, stream section here. And we will have to actually go off and grab, we're going to need the uh, cert. And we will type that in. And we will also need the web control key. And this uh, is only under, it's, although it's entered in on the web control, it also does apply to uh, the streams as well. And then we will enable. And then uh, start up motion. In this one, you have to actually put in the HTTPS. Now, it will actually, since this is actually self signed, um, it will give this particular warning saying the certificate is not. Uh, been authorized by a um, trusted authority, but I trust myself, so I am putting up there that it's HTTPS. Now, if you actually see down in the lower left-hand corner there, the stream itself has not been enabled as SSL, 
So we'll actually uh, stop motion here and go enable that. And we'll go back and we want to grab the stream TLS. Save this and start up motion. And then uh, refresh the page. Actually, this one's not going to work because it's not HTTPS on this one. And this one's also. Uh, not a trusted certificate, so we will add an exception. And we can see that we actually are now under HTTPS for the stream. And now that the exception has been authorized, it will actually come up and show it on the uh, previous screen. And in the lower left-hand corner there, you can actually see that it is pointing off to the HTTPS. And that is about it for setting it up. Uh, you can actually um, also just turn it on for the stream. So as I mentioned, um, the web control certain key also applies for the stream, whether or not you actually have the web control on or off. start it up and then we have to get rid of that and you can see that the stream in the lower left hand corner there is actually showing that it's actually um, still on HTTPS um, that's just for the stream although the web control port is um, not on uh, TLS and that's about it um, I hope that uh, can uh, make your streams a bit more secure.